Hi, do you hope everyone? My name is Mr. Fruit, and welcome to the first episode of the Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon Randomized Soul Link Nuzlocke with the one, the only, Robbie B. Rob, thank uh, you for joining uh, us. Uh, 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 I mean, you just needed another Pokemon expert, you know what I mean? And yes, I'm super well informed on Gen 6, so I'm very excited to play Sun and Moon. <laughs> Yeah, clearly because it's Gen Seven, so uh, you uh, you seem to be well well. Ah, uh, Professor Tim, <laughs> or no, they're all named after trees. Professor Aspen. No, uh, Kakui, I believe. I don't actually know if that's a tree. It has. I to always be, right? just figured, like, right? Because like oak, saying, cause birch. There's, there's like sycamore and. I don't know. They're all after trees, right? That was kind of the the thing I got from the taboo yesterday. I thought so. Also, I'm not reading any of this. Yeah, no. The, so here's one thing. We're going to be going through all the rules, getting to our starters. The one thing, unfortunately, from Gen 6 forward is they're like, hey, what if we made everybody take like an hour before they can start playing the game? So there's ah. a bit of an intro. We'll go walking, people talking. You know how it is. But Ooh. it's been a long time coming. Rob, I think it's important. Oh, what did I just do? I just clicked so fast. You you picked your little avatar. Oh. I was gonna be waifu, but I guess I'm husbando. Yeah, you're husbando. You you have done a soul lock. I have. You're one and only nuzlock of any kind. In fact, pretty much, that was your first time playing Pokemon since Heart Gold and Soul Silver when I was in high school. And that yep. was probably, I remember the Africa World Cup was going on. So what was that, 2010? Yeah. So, so yeah, 2010. And then I bought a pink DS Lite from a chick at our school who didn't was pissed that her parents got her a DS for Christmas and she didn't play the DS. So I bought it from her. Brand new DS pink light. I bought it from her for like 30 bucks. Sheesh. That's a good deal. Yeah. Yeah, she definitely bought drugs with it. <laughs> Let's not beat around the bush. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting, and I wanted to do, well, first off, on this channel, we haven't done Sun and Moon at all yet, Gen 7. Plus, I wanted to do a later Gen, because that's just it. Rob pretty much knows no Pokemon uh, unless they're, like, Gen 3 and before. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's like Gen 1 and 2, expert. Like, I can name you any Pokemon. Gen 3, uh, it's, but, you know, uh, it's and and then everything else is just, I uh, what is that thing? And that's why it's going to be beautiful, because it is a randomized Sony Nuzlocke, as you've come to expect. Which means, they're written down here, every wild Pokemon encounter, static Pokemon encounter, trainer Pokemon, starter Pokemon, ability, moveset, HMs, TMs, and items are randomized. So, literally, pretty much... Everything you, you could randomize, we we randomized. The only thing we didn't randomize was like their typing. So it's going to be a whole fiesta on top of the fact that Rob won't know most of these Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon Ultra Sun. Yes. And funnily enough, this is actually my weakest gen. I would probably say. I think okay, that's. I think I've I played through Gen Seven once when it first came out. So. I'm not feeling that confident either, so I think it's a good mix. A good mix. I would. I mean, I'm probably in the same boat. This is probably my weakest gen as well. This is not. I'm not strong in this one. Um, I maybe know two cannon, and that's about <laughs> it. But together, we're strong. The thing about Sun one. and Moon is it's the only mainline game where there's not eight gems. It's not just get oh. eight gems, fight the leak. Do we like that? It was cool. I mean, the thing is like. There's essentially eight important battles. You have you have four island captains or whatever, and then you have four island totem Pokemon or something like that. We will be adding a little bit of spice. Um, I'll have you know, Rob did his soul link with uh, Joey. No spice. No spice at all. Very yeah. vanilla, and if so you ask me. I have to warn you. Here, here on this channel, yeah, we play by the book. So okay. there's not really any leniency, you yeah, know, So I can't just heal a million times. Over. Right. Or like if something goes wrong or somebody dies or wipes and it's like, well, we'll just keep, well, it's not. 
That's the whole point of the Nuzlocke. If it's a rule and it happens, it happens. Now, because it is Gen 7, my weakest, there's always sometimes certain things that come up during the game where we hadn't really accounted for and we have to make rules for it as we go. Oh! We'll get there. Um, okay, yeah, wait, we'll I, my mind was rest. just blown. I thought we were in a cutscene still. Like the last <laughs> Nuzlocke I was in, it was like kind of, you know. Yeah, 2D. Not, did not look like this. Yeah. I mean, so the I graphics, like, you thought it was real life. The guy was sleeping, I was, like, I was like, my game is frozen, dude. I was like. <laughs> now you sleep. Welcome. Grab? Yeah, to the, the 3D world of Pokemon Sun and Moon. So I'll go through all the rules we have. If I forget some, include them later. If you've watched one of my Nuzlocke's on here. You get a good gist. So if you don't know what a Nuzlocke is at all for Pokemon, the basic rules are if a Pokemon faints, it is considered dead and you place it inside a PC box for a graveyard. That's it. They're done. Gone. Can't use them again. Sag. You can only catch the first Pokemon encountered in each route. So when you go into a route, the first Mon you find in the grass, boom, you either catch it or if you don't, that's it. You, you don't get another encounter. You failed that encounter. GG, go next. You, we will be nicknaming every Pokemon, uh, and specifically yeah. we'll be naming it uh, out of some of you down below, commenters. So remember, every video, be sure to comment down below to have a chance for Pokemon to be named after oh, you, and make sure to like, because we do this with every- A little every, bit of engagement. Yeah, we do this with every Nuzlocke. We, reach a light goal and if we do every friday there'll be an hour oh, of power right. yeah, an extra long episode so be sure to like this video comment down below to immediately get it going rob what's the light goal um what like what what would you say your average was for like joey like what like what do we gauge i usually set it around five thousand, and then okay around halfway through the lock it starts to get like guys we're like where's the <laughs> Am I going to yeah, have to lower okay. this? So this Come is on. like the first episode. So like I would figure like a lot of people are going to be clicking on it. A lot of people are going to be liking it. So let's go for okay. like 7777. Seven, seven. Okay. First episode. You heard sevens. you heard the man. Quad so, sevens. Quad sevens. We do that. That means uh, extra long episode uh, next Friday. Now here's some of the spice. Um, oh, I think no. you guys had this one. No Pokemon can exceed the level of the next gym leader's yep. highest level. We did have that. Yes, we did. Now, I pulled up a that list. That was kind of tough. Yeah, I pulled up a list because since there's not gym leaders, there's also uh -huh. the levels, I believe, of certain battles we'll find slash totem Pokemon or something like that. So we we should have a rough idea of levels. It's totem just, Pokemon? Yeah. So we'll get to it when we get to it. It'll make more sense. Okay. Now here is where, like Joey certainly hated it. You get to use three items in battle for a battle. Yeah. yeah what's up with Mouth's arms? Let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What in the? Like, what's up with his arms? Let's have a dialogue about that. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Um, if a, a if a Pokemon faints, however, in battle, that counter gets reset. So if you've used three healing, you lose a Pokemon, you get those three back for that yep. fight. Okay, so like, say I'm in a battle, okay? Yep. And I've used two potions on a Pokemon, okay? Yep. And then I sub that Pokemon out, bring in another one, use another potion on that one. You're no done. more potions on any other Pokemon yep. during that battle. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. Kaput. So all important trainers will have six, which is your rival, gym leaders, elite four. And I don't know if the setting has like other important trainers, but... Everybody's going to be stacked. Will that yeah. come back to bite us? Maybe. Probably. But that's okay. Here's something that might bite us in the butt because it's a special mechanic of Gen 7. Pokemon can call allies, which just means... What does that mean? So like a totem Pokemon, for instance, will call his ally Pokemon. So they have a chance every turn or Still whatever. I don't know what totem Pokemon is, but yeah, go yeah, ahead. They're just like Omega Pokemon. They'll okay. call down... A friend no, and they'll that. just appear into the battlefield and now you're fighting them as well so oh. so there's a setting and i couldn't resist where we could just be this meow let's say we find him in the grass like all right whatever just a meow arms i'm about to beat this meow's ass <laughs> but then meow goes bet he calls dad 
Suddenly, Rayquaza. Randomly call into the battle. Now we're fighting me out from Rayquaza. Again. So can this I? This might bite us. I, I have no idea. What if this happens? So like, what if we're on uh, our first uh, route and we're doing our first encounter, and the Pokemon we run into calls an ally? Would you consider the the so like say the ally Pokemon is better than the Meowth? Are we able to catch the ally Pokemon now? Or so, no? I thought about it. I put it in the rules. Because I figured, you know, it adds a little fun, a little variation. Because there's no guarantee they'll even call. So if we are in an encounter and they call an ally Pokemon, we can decide from that new one as well. We can change our minds. Um, okay. But we're not going to stall, like, uh, an encounter to see, like, well, maybe he'll eventually call. Let's see what we get. All trainers, whoever they are, as soon as their mons are level 40 or above, Whatever their slot was randomized to will always be the full evolution. So okay. if the game said, hey, we're going to give them a Meowth level 41. Well, now it's a Persian level 41, so on and so forth. It'll always be the highest. It makes it so that in-game is more interesting. Now. Yeah, you're not going through the Elite Four and running to with Jigglypuff. Yeah. There is or the... Or like the, the Chansey one. This game has the hardest Pokemon fight in the game. What? Yeah. In, in the sense that when I was like doing... Like all of Pokemons? Yeah. When I was doing a normal playthrough when this game released, I wiped. In a normal playthrough. Because I was like, what the fudge just happened? I you, wouldn't admit that. Well, here's the thing. Okay. You're like... The level cap before you fight this is 49. Uh -huh. You fight this Pokemon, which is like God, level 60, with boosted stats. And like, he comes out of nowhere poops over you so i have a clause that if it ends up his name is ultra necrozma if it is ultra necrozma, ultra necrozma? yeah if if that, that doesn't get cool. randomized or anything we don't wipe because like even in normal playthroughs people have to like prep or like in actual nuzlocks they have to use certain pokemon and like toxic stall randomized there ain't no oh. now he might get randomized and we'll see, but again, we're gonna be so far behind. So, so what if we're like, so does that mean we, if we run into him in any place, the ultra whatever, like well, he can if be- If we run into him anywhere, no, that's fine. It's just when we get to that specific instance, that's the one that counts. Um, and I'm only like slightly terrified about it. So. Okay. Also, I don't, I've never played this game, so I have to watch you and like w see where you're going. How did you- Well, I'm trying oh, to circle. remember. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to remember myself, I'll be honest. Uh, I don't think we can find anything in the grass. Oh, that's uh, Oh, it's one. Uh, no. Donald Trump attacks us. Oh. Yeah. So do I do go into Route 1? Yeah. Well, we don't have a Pokemon, so we're not capturing or anything yet. Um, oh. Well, wait, this might be it. This might be the starter reveal. Oh, sheesh, hold on. Oh, is I it? I can't remember. Yeah, I, it might just be, it's just, we might get him soon, but then there's a lot of exposition we got to click through. Now, here's where the soul link comes in for a Nuzlocke. Each encounter is paired with each other. So, Rob and I's encounter in each route is soul link. Lock him up. If one person fails to catch their encounter in a route, the other person also fails. Doesn't matter if they'd already successfully caught it. That's it. Boom. When that soul link pair is used, it always has to be used in the same way. So, if... Rob wants to put his Meowth away into the PC. I have to put whoever's linked with Meowth into the PC or back into my team, so on and so forth. Now, here's where some additional spice comes in, which makes it a little bit more difficult, like Blue and I find out. There can be Great. no repeat of primary types across both parties, not just pairs. Oh, both you're going to have to keep track of that. Yeah. No, don't worry, I will. And no pair may share the same primary typing. So, throughout all the pairs and all of our party mods, we can never repeat a primary type. So, like, if I have a primary water, no other Pokemon on my team or no Pokemon in your team will have primary water. Makes it interesting. Uh-huh. Yeah. But there's a water clause because... It's yeah, it, interesting I, is not the word I'd use. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, very interesting. As Blue, as I, as Blue as, and I, rather, found out, um, there's an unholy amount of water type Pokemon and water type Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken, are the only Pokemon type that if it's water, it's always primary water because the thing is like, sometimes you can find a fire Pokemon 
and it would be like normal fire. The secondary typing doesn't matter. So like, okay, okay that's not primary. a repeat. But water is always water primary. So we can figure out a clause. I think what we did before was like every time we get a water, we get to flip a coin. And if it's heads, we can choose to use its secondary typing as its primary because okay. there's just so much water. So that's something to keep in mind. But aside from that, that's what we have to use. So here okay. comes the fun part. Randomized starters. Always the best part. Because we can either get a banger or not. And the important thing to note, too, is this will be locked. This will be linked. Yep. So whatever my Rufflet ends up being, you'll have to take Rufflet or Litten or Papio. So we have Wait, to Wait, what? Them. Yeah. So, like, if my Rowlet is Charizard, but yours is Jigglypuff, you'd have to take Jigglypuff if I want Charizard. So we have to, like, agree on what we think would be the best pair for both of us. And it makes it more interesting. You know? That's the fun of it. Because oh. when, I, when I do these Nuzlocks, I like to be forced into using Pokemon I also wouldn't use. And that's what's going to happen. So... These shouldn't, they won't be randomized in the overworld, I don't think. Yeah. But, um, I think when we select them or whatever, we'll see. I hate Poppyo, dude. All right, it's here we go. Cursed. This is it. Come on, then. Okay. Oh, sheesh. Fortress, Bulbasaur, and Lyron. Ly Ly <laughs> Lyron. Those are all Gen 1 through 3, all right? So you should, this should be familiar. I know oh. Fortress, he looks like Metagross, kind of, right? Come on. What do you have? What do you have? Oh, oh my sweet baby Moses. Ooh. I have, you don't understand. Cresselia is a legendary Pokemon, the tankiest Pokemon ever. The tankiest. And you know what we like in Nuzlocke? Wait, I think I had Tanky a Cresselia. Pokemon. Is that the thing that looks like a bat, kind of? No. It has like a, it almost has like a banana on its head. And then the wings are sort of like Saturn's rings. Yeah, I had a yeah, I had one of those in Joey's oh, Solok. That thing owns. Yeah, it's super bulky. So if I were to take it though, you would have Fortress. I could get Golduck. You get Bulbasaur. Nice little Gen One typing. Or Chimeco, and you get Laron. Um, it's funny. I think my list went from, you know, top bottom, uh, best to worst. Yours. What is Layron? Layron. Oh, he evolves in the Agron, who's so sick. Um, oh, he is so cool looking. Yeah. The only problem, though, what is a, a lot of times four called? weaknesses. Lots well, of times oh, four weaknesses. Oh, okay. We don't like times four weaknesses. Fortress is also times four weak to fire. And Fortress doesn't evolve, does he? He is the evolved form of Pineco. He's already evolved. Okay. Um, so, another thing to remember with these Pokemon is we don't know their abilities True. so you know fortress might not look appealing to some but he could have like huge power which is an insane ability Cresselia could be a beater but then have like um slack off whatever which is uh loafing around whatever that has like slacking uses which would suck so it means it's not everything you see isn't what we're gonna get you never know okay but the pairs as they stand would either be Cresselia Fortress, Golduck Bulbasaur, or Trimeca Laron. As is tradition, we don't get to choose. It's up to the people. Um, obviously, you know, I might have put a little bias in there. Apologies. Um, I don't mean to sway the polls. I want you guys to vote for whatever you want to see. Hey, you're just saying, yeah, you're just talking the truth. Yeah. And so, you know, there are a lot of Bulbasaur stands out there, so you may see a lot of Bulbasaur voting out there. Well, I get a lot of people, there's there's three people when they vote for these things, okay? There's the, I want you guys to win, I'm going to give you the best pair. There's the, I want to see you guys lose, I'm going to give you the worst pair. And then there's the, this is my favorite Pokemon, so I'm picking it. Okay. That's what we're dealing with. So it's a matter of which one is going to win out, because it's gotten pretty close to where it's like, we're going to purposely troll you, which is fine. You know, and or there's uh, yeah, I mean, you could troll. There's some people who are in the middle, and like that would just be too easy or boring. We want you to succeed, but we don't want you to just like have it free, which is fair. Yeah, so very fair. I'm gonna have a Twitter poll, and by the time you see this video, the Twitter poll will probably have ended, and we'll be back 
to use our pairs. Like we said, comment down below. Like the video so we can get an hour power. Um, this first episode is coming out on a Friday. We take the weekends off. So just to be like, hey, it's here. Get ready. Starting next Monday. We're in it to win it. Yes, sir. And hopefully we win it. And looking forward to it. In the comments, if you have any other things we should know about like a, a Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon Nuzlocke, like the Ultra Necrozma stuff, feel free to let me know. But otherwise, looking forward to it. Interesting options here. And we'll see what we get. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's been mere seconds for you. It's been about two days for Rob and I. We're back. As you can tell by my sunburn. <laughs> yeah. Rob uh, went to touch grass. So good on you, mate. Yes, sir. Meanwhile, you all voted over on Twitter for our starters. The poll ended. Up, hopefully, remember I put the poll somewhere. Uh, either way, you can find it on my Twitter. I was I was gonna be honest. I really thought they'd come through and give you some tank because I am a pokey noob. But you were like, we're not getting that. Well, here's the thing. A lot of people voting for this aren't thinking about it like that. the The reality is, people go, "Oh, two Gen One Pokemon. I know those." Click, because <laughs> if they thought about it. Cresselia, the what are tankiest Pokemon ever, and then Fortress, who yes is times four weak to fire, but if I'm not mistaken, has no other weaknesses, and has a lot of resistances. Would have been sick because would have been very sick. Here's the other thing: some people are like, do Golduck Bulbasaur because Water Grass early is really good. But here's what I didn't mention too. It's actually going to be worse to get this pair because what are the most common Pokemon types? Technically uh, normal in water. But pretty close next to that is grass. And since we're not repeating primary typing, we've now guaranteed we can't have another water or grass type Pokemon on the team as ever. long as this pair is in here. So, but, knowing but our I luck, will say, Psychic and it, Bug, it, but, a lot less common. That's all I'm saying. But... It is a cool pair. Like, it, it, I, it, it I do is. like them. Golduck will fall off real soon, but rocking the Golduck Bulbasaur pair, I'm not against it. It's a cool pair. Not it's just that Cresselia Fortress, it, for the sake of the lock, would have been Insane. the, yeah, would have been the uh, optimal choice. With that said, though, you know, we follow, it, it's the people's vote, the people's choice, so... Golduck may use fire type moves. That's not <laughs> yeah. true. Bulbasaur may use fire type moves. Uh, false. So yes. I want to go with the water type Pokemon Golduck. Matter of fact, yes. And we'll oh, do this right I'm now. I'm holding the cat. Me too. Meow. I'm going to pull this one. The starter is pulled from the Twitter polls. But all the other names oh. are going to be pulled from the comments down below. So remember, we're going for seven, 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 seven likes. Comment down below. That's right. Uh, chance to have Pokemon be named after you, such as Litten. He and is cute. Who, Bulba? Yeah, he is cute. You were going to say he... What? You thought Bulbasaur wasn't cute at some point? It's not that like I didn't think he was cute. It's just like, I'm upset that we didn't get the broken pair, but half glass full, Bulbasaur is pretty cute. And I saw really cute gifs of Bulbasaur being a good friend. That is true. And he's, he's like holding Togepi and like yeah. messing with Togepi. Who doesn't love Bulbasaur? So since you have a male Bulbasaur, um, I have here for you. Okay. Their Twitter handle is Ninja Squid. However, their handle, which we'll go with, is Smamanual. So it's Smamanual. It's Samuel. But there's an extra okay. M right after the S, so it's Samamuel. I need a female. Their handle is Lexitonics, but okay. uh, Lex in the city. Lex in the city. Okay. Look at that. Fa oh, perfect. Lex, Lex in the there city. There you go. I GZ'd both the people that won. <laughs> they're so like, maybe huh? they know what's coming their way. Yeah, they're like, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you went with Litten, bro. He keeps saying Litten, Golduck. He's got to make up his mind. Yeah, name. like quit mispronouncing my Pokemon, man. I'm pissed. The Island Kahuna. I forget. That's Big Kahuna. Time to meet. What they're called. Aloha. Aloha. Before oh, we, we can look at the abilities. Yeah, before we sign off, we get a peep while we're working. Um, Because, you know, we don't want to blue ball the viewers. I, too, want to know. I can't wait. I do, too. Let's start with Bulbasaur. How about that? Let's see what you're... Oh, you uh, have an item. Sandman manual. 
a shell bell. bell. That's really good. Is it? What is it? Every what time does a shell bell do? Every time you do damage, you get a little bit of it back as health. Not a lot. Oh. But it's that's pretty good. Okay. There you go, Sam Amuel. Yeah, go on. I didn't get an item. Screw me. All right, here we go. Okay. Uh, uh, ability uh, Soul Heart. You know what's funny what about that? that? I don't know. I don't, I don't know we, what that is. We, we don't know what Soul Heart is. Uh, that must be like a gen... What the... Okay, well, see, okay. this is fun, you know? So, okay, okay. Pokemon. Oh. I think it has to be some signature Pokemon. It boosts the specialist attack stat every time a Pokemon faints. <gasps> oh. You could get is that a... good? That's okay. So, Bulbasaur is a special attack. Samuel, focus. by the way. Sorry, yes, Samuel is special attack offensively. Okay. Yeah. So now think about this. You got a sweeper because if Bulbasaur, maybe you know, at some point it's a Venusaur, Leaf Storms or something, which is a good grass special attack move. It's a knockout. You power up. So you oh. just get extra special attack. So then it's in the next one, and you could just sweep if you can like. Bop, bop, bop. You know, raise, um, raise, raise. Apparently, my Bulbasaur can also fly. That's my boy. Yes, sir. Like, what are these attacks? Uh, None what are of we... these are grass attacks. <laughs> Wait, what? We got Defog, Sky Drop, and Squash, which is interesting because it should have forced some amount of moves. I figured out why I've never heard of this ability. Why? It's a Gen 7 mythical Pokemon that is only available via gift trading and like promo codes. Never seen it before. You actually drew it when we did that Pokemon drawing. It's the one oh. that looked like a maid. It was Magirna. It was like the oh. robotic clockwork doll thing. Okay. Yeah. So that that's weird looking. the signature ability. AKA you just got like a legendary ability, which is sick. sick. Now granted, but the I didn't moves, get any attack. Yeah, the moves ain't good. We... That could be a problem because we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's see how, uh, yeah, let's look at Lex in the city. Ain't no way. Wait. Oh my God. Wait, what? Hydro pump, Mama. water spout, ice burn? Water spout is the best water move. Like, that's probably as strong as it gets. If not, hydro pump. I was going to say hydro. I thought hydro pump was the best water move. Freaking, uh, look at the damage on What the fudge? Lex in the city? More like, I'm going to kick your ass in the city. I've even got like, a little type uh, differential, being able to horn leech, get some HP back. Now, granted, what's funny is I could almost see Golduck having this ability. This is... What of, is the ability? It's Torrent. It's kind of basic. It's kind of fitting because it's typically on a starter Pokemon. It just means when in a pinch... I deal extra water damage, which is kind of insane that it happened to be Torrent because it could have been anything else. But so if I'm really low health, my water will do a little more damage. I don't know how crazy okay. it is. Meanwhile, yeah, my ability. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Go back to your... Oh. Because I don't remember natures, but they made it in these gens. So, oh, well, that's kind of good. So you have a neutral nature. So uh -huh. nothing grows quicker, nothing grows slower. Whereas for me, unlucky, I get more attack. But Golduck doesn't want to use any attacks. He's all special attack. I mean, it's night and day what we're looking at with uh, moves here. So something tells me mine might have randomized the way it was supposed to randomize. Although I'm not supposed like... How did I get... I figured I'd have, like, Water Gun. Like, I'm in the end game. This is all I need. Oh, you... Yeah, I mean, Lex is insane. What the fudge? Yeah. And then, and then, and then, and then there's some manual. So, the good news is you have one damaging move. Um, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna need to catch you another. We need we. Literally, if we can't get another pair, I think it's over. So, <laughs> so that's what we have to look forward to. How are we gonna come back from this? Will it be an early wipe and we just cheat you go again? We're supposed to end the video. But we we okay. How about this? We're gonna we're gonna tease the audience. We're gonna okay. run around until we find something in the grass. As soon as it pops up, I'm gonna cut, and it'll only be our audio. Okay, so they won't know. 
So okay, we'll be like, oh my god, and then you're gonna have to wait. Talk about a cliffhanger. Okay. Oh, I like that. Yeah. So is this like our counter right here? This right here for oh. me. Oh, survey says. No Th way. What that's, is that? That's a Pokemon. What? what? No oh way. my god. Ain't no way. That's not even a Oh you, this isn't like You guys are Okay, wait until Monday. Oh my boy is Rob, I'm gonna say if you get that, um your team is suddenly saved. In fact, the whole lock might be done. Bro, <laughs> no way.